Don't let the limitations of others limit your vision. That is the thought for today. Welcome to 7 Good Minutes. I'm Clyde Lee Dennis. Thanks for joining me for what I believe will be seven of the most enriching minutes of your day. Today we have a fantastic message from Dr. Miles Monroe about how getting clear about your vision helps you achieve your goals. Enjoy. A man or woman without a clear vision for their lives live a very loose life. But a man with a vision, they live a very narrow life. When a man or woman has a vision, their life becomes very, very tight. Why? Because vision simplifies life. Vision controls all of your choices after that. Once you know where you're going, you also automatically know what roads won't take you there. If you know what to do, you automatically know what you shouldn't do. Vision defines your what to do in life. Because vision gives you your address. Your destiny dictates your decisions. See, without a vision, it's tough for you to refuse things. People who discovered vision, they live longer. They live healthier. There's no stress. Stress comes from not knowing what to do. This is no time for experimentation. This is a time for intentional living. You better know your destination. You ain't getting no younger. There's some people in your life who are not necessary. Some of you got the wrong company. These people are distractions. When you have a vision, it simplifies life. You can walk up to a bookstore shelf and know exactly what books not to buy. See, vision dictates everything. Everything that you do is supposed to be motivated by your vision. Vision supposed to be the source of your human motivation it simplifies your life do you know why most people are actually poor i know why they're poor poverty it's not a problem it's a result most people are poor because no one knows who they are what do you mean by that vision helps you identify yourself before the people in the world and because they know who you are they know what to come to you for Make yourself a person of value. If someone had to think about something that reminded them of you, what would it be? Because if they never think about you, that means you have never made yourself valuable. Become so good in an area that they can't ignore you. The world is filled with general people. Vision is what gives you this unique discovery about what you're supposed to master. Sight is the ability to see things as they are, but vision is the capacity to see things as they could be. All true visions will be tested for authenticity. If your vision is truly from God, life will test it to prove that it's authentic. So get used to the idea of challenges if your vision is real. If a vision is terminated by trials, it was probably not authentic. Vision dictates everything. People who have no vision in their lives, they throw off restraint. They throw off self-control. They have no idea. When you know what you were born to do, it dictates how you should behave and what kind of standards you should live by. You were born to find out what is right for you. When you find out what is right for you, then that's, that's what's right for you. Everything else may be just good or wrong. So preoccupation with a good thing is no substitute for the right thing. Stay with what you're born to do. Whatever you're supposed to do is not supposed to be erased. That's why I am convinced you were not created just to make a living and pay bills. You were created to give life and make a difference with your gift somewhere. That's why you came to this place. And it doesn't matter how small you are or how unintelligent you may seem to be, or how much you don't have. It is the thinking of the person that makes them see circumstances differently. The attitude, therefore, is the difference. People ask me, how am I doing? My answer is, I have no problems. The word problem is a human definition of an opportunity to grow. If you call it a problem, it's a negative. If you see it as an opportunity, it becomes a positive. 
No one can live beyond the limits of their belief. So if you want to live beyond what you're living now, you have to change your belief system. When you have the discovery of a new belief system, your life is what you think it should be. That's exactly what you are right now. You are what you thought you should be. And if you don't like who you are, you got to change what you think you should be. The secret to anyone rising is what happens in their belief system. No amount of training or management methods or titles, no amount of promotion or associations with rich people or smart people can ever substitute for the right attitude. You got to first change your perception of who you are and that starts with a belief system secondly you must change your perception of why you think you exist and number three your sense of significance once you discover no matter where you are right now it doesn't matter i don't care what situation you're in now where you're working or what situation you're in your perception of who you are you've got to change it and most of our perceptions are other people's concepts of us and therefore we don't have self-concept we got other concepts please keep in mind this is about half of the entire presentation if you're up for a treat you should definitely listen to the whole thing you can do so by clicking the link labeled view the full video on youtube in the show notes so that does it for this episode of seven good minutes until next time let's be civil to one another out there Thanks for listening.